Hello everyone, today it's Isaac King Videos and today we are going to be upgrading this Samsung phone to Android 16. So I have just received this update just a few minutes ago and uh, just before we update this we are going to be looking at the current version it's running now. So it is running Android 15. This operating system is running Android 15. And now let's have a look at the changes. This is the patch level, system play, system update, Google Play system update, and here is the kernel version. So I've also enabled developer options because I heard that the new Android 16 update completely removes OEM unlocking. Now, I'm not going to tick this because this phone is way too new to be modified and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep this on its original operating system for many, 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 many years. Probably around like 10 or 6 or some years before it becomes unsupported. But yeah, let's... So this apparently this option will disappear in the new update. So let's see if that happens. I heard side loading will be affected as well in the new Android 16 update because it will be blocking undeveloped apps. So that's what Android 16 security is like. So from now on, this is what the One UI 7 homepage looks like. There's all the Samsung icons. This is Google, wrong folder. This is Samsung's icons, just, you know, your average essential icons for One UI 7. This is the One UI 7 status bar. So let's see if this changes. So without much further ado, let's just go and install this update. Here we go. So right now it is now downloading and installing. Now here is an interesting part about this new update. On the Samsung A56, it uses a new partitioning method, partition A to B. So it doesn't need the traditional recovery mode to install these updates. It will install it to slot A, probably, and then it will move it to boot when it boots up again. I kind of find this new system quite interesting because it doesn't use traditional recovery modes to actually install it, but... Let's see if this actually like fully installs through the Android system because that's what the new updates do. They install through the actual Android system and not through recovery mode. It is now 21%. It's actually installing quite quick. So on the One UI 8, there is actually, I believe there's like a, a bubble there on the lock screen where you can swipe and stuff. But this phone doesn't have it. So let's see if that changes. So just before it, just before it finishes, we are going to have a look at the update details. Here is all the update details. So it seems like the Samsung Internet app has been redesigned. New challenges in Samsung Health, that's good news. Okay, so this is security and privacy. I like how it's not talking about side loading or OEM unlocking on the developer options been removed. Here's acceptability and here is modes and routines, even more improvements and that's basically it and all of these apps will be updated. This will probably be the last time we'll see these apps with the One UI 7 int look to them. So let's see if any of this changes when it reboots and updates. It's now at 50%. Okay, it's now verifying the install now. It's finished downloading and installing. 
So it's verifying it now. Once this verification is finished, it's going to reboot and go into Android 16. There we go. So there we go. Time to see this go. And goodbye to Android 15 and One UI 7. So without much further ado, let's restart the phone. So here it is, it's now restarted. Now it will be in the One UI Optimizing Apps screen now, which usually takes about five minutes. And there we go, seems like this is still the same screen. I thought they would change this with the new 3D Android, it's still got the old Android interface. So there we go, it is now Optimizing Apps. And it's done. That was quick. Right, let's swipe to open. So here it is, One UI 8 is now here. Let's now set up the phone. Okay, so it looks like some of the icons are still the same. Yeah, I guess the icons haven't changed. Let's click next. So here we go. Welcome to One UI 8.0. So here it is, One UI 8. There we go. It's now up to date. Let's see what's changed. Okay, so all the One UI 7 icons are still the same. Yeah, the status bar is still the same. Thought they would change all this. I guess it. I guess it was just a minor update then. Let's go to settings and see the new Android version. So here it is, One UI 8.0 and Android 16. Here's the new Android 16 Easter egg. The stars are actually going up this time. Let's see if anything's changed. It's exactly the same as Android 15, but the only thing that's changed is the auto. This is new. So this is a this is a new bit of the Easter egg, and I think it's actually quite cool how they've extended this bit. I'm glad they've added this. It makes it more relaxing to watch this Easter egg. Also, in the status bar, you can actually see Autopilot is chasing this. So to be honest, this is actually really cool. So props to Android for doing that Easter egg. I, that's actually quite good. Kernel version is still the same, but that's different. Here now says 1st of September 2025, and now let's just update the Google Play updates. Oh, it's already up to date. I guess it's August then. So, let's see if the OEM unlock has now been removed. And it is. It's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. So the rumours were true. Samsung has removed OEM unlocking. So, yep, yeah, there you go. It's been confirmed. OEM locking is now disabled. And permanently removed from... Developer options. Well, it doesn't really matter. I may as well just keep my Samsung Tab S9 on FE on Android 15 then. So there we go. And so there we go. The boot, so the boot, the OEM boot unlocking thing is gone now. So that means no more custom ROMs can be installed on this device in the far, f far future. This doesn't really need a custom ROM. It's already got the latest versions and it doesn't needs custom roaming or anything because it's all good on One UI 8 and Android 16. Not to own that, but let's see if let's see if the camera responsive problem has been fixed. So here we are in YouTube Shorts. Let's give it a test. The answer is no. It still hasn't been fixed. For a normal camera, it works perfectly fine. And they've also noticed performance hasn't changed. So that's a good thing. Performance is still fluent and really fast. So that's some things I have missed out. As anyways, thanks for watching.